How do I add a product to a price list? I'd like to first review just a little bit of browsing inside of CRM. Under the sales section, there's products. And this is mostly so that your sales team is able to look at the list of products that are available to them. Under the settings section, there's a product catalog section that includes products. This is a list of everything that you sell at your company. Price lists. This is lists of products with prices on them set for different groups. For example, you would select a price list if you were selling wholesale, or you would sell, select a product price list if you're selling retail, or a third price list if you were selling direct and you wanted to have individual prices on products based on those selections. And then you also have unit groups where you could say that um, this product is being sold in pounds and this product is being sold in ounces and what the price per ounce or per pound or per, their example is two liter bottles would be. And then there are also discount lists where you can specify based on if you've purchased over a hundred, the price will drop by either a, a specific dollar amount or by a percentage. There's a lot of control that you have over your price lists inside of the system. So we have inside the product section three products listed and they're different types of sprockets. I'm going to go back to my product catalog. I'm going to go to my price list. I know that only one of my um, products has actually been added to a price list. Serum comes with a default price list that you can use. I've set up my own US dollars um, sprocket price list which will only list sprockets and CRM does support multiple currencies, so you could uh, not only have lists based on, based on weight and type and who you're selling to, but also based on currency. I'm going to go into this active price list. And one of the things that I can do is I can set price list items. So here I could add a new price list item. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to select one of my products. I'm going to use a lookup to make sure I'm grabbing one that's not on here and I'm going to select my 25 tooth um, sprocket. My unit is still the primary unit because I'm not selling based on weights and measures but rather just on counts. Um, there's no control on the on the quantity that needs to be sold and then I can set um, my pricing method based on a currency amount, a percent of the list price, um, a percent markup over the current cost or the standard cost if I wanted to control margins, and then uh, an amount. And in this case, I'm going to set it to uh, $30.25. And then I'm going to click Save. And now if I was to go into an opportunity and try and add a product under the uh, US dollar sprocket price list I would see two options for myself. The other thing that I can do is while I'm on a product under price list items at the bottom I'll show you that this product my 25 tooth sprocket has just been added to the price list I can add this product to a price list just by clicking the plus and then selecting a price list so I could add it to the default price list if I wanted to I would just need to make sure that all of my uh, required fields were filled out. Thank <phone> you. <rings>